Hey guys, this is Andrew Richardson and Andrew Coyne from MMA Mania here at Capital Strength and Performance in downtown Sacramento for another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. So we already talked about Marlon Moraes' ideal adjustments and game plans leading into this rematch, and today we're going to talk about uh, Rafael Sunsau. Now Sunsau did a, a really good job that despite being outmatched on the power and speed, he managed to find a, a few key overhands that really uh, made a mark on the judge's mind, and even though he landed fewer strikes, it, it managed to shift the decision into his favor. Uh, so a lot of that's going to be based on the same concept of he might not be able to keep up with the speed and power and maybe even output, but if he can make his shots count more, that's going to be really significant. Um, so first and foremost, uh, in general that overhand did land, but uh, he still had a difficult time landing on Marais. The Brazilian keeps a tight guard, moved his feet well, and he was looking to counter. So because of all that, I would like to see a Sun Tao go to the body. Now, the, the benefits of body work here, you know, a, a Sun Tao is a real clean right hand, is if a Sun Tao can start jabbing low and landing the body one, it's so much easier. You're less likely to overextend on a body punch. Uh, you're less likely to get countered. If I'm reaching, I'm hit. If I can just lock and land, it's perfect. Connection is what I want. Helps him find his range. It'll really help set everything up. And again, since his, you know, his money punch in that fight was the overhand, if I get my opponent used to me ducking down or uh, whatever body shot I'm throwing, if they're used to me dropping down, that overhand might slip through, his hands might drop, all leads into each other. Uh, and then aside from that, I'd really like to see, I'd really like to see a Sun Tao throw kicks underneath his opponent's kicks. So what I mean by that is, uh, Marais has a very fast switch kick, right kick, he goes high with his kicks, his head kicks can be sudden and violent. Uh, but if a lot of times what Moraes does is kick as I'm leading. So as I'm throwing punches, Moraes takes a step back and throws a kick, whichever side, throw a kick. Boom. He tries to catch his opponent in the ribs under a punch. So we're gonna do the same thing and kind of read that and then kick out his base leg. So what I'd like to see a Sun Tzu do is he's throwing whatever punch, when that kick comes, catch it, kick. If Bulldog throws a teeth, he can throw a teeth. Catch another common technique of uh, Marais, throw it by, kick the leg. Again, we're talking about that speed and power advantage that all stems from the legs. A Sun Tao is a great low kicker in his own right. If he can chop the leg, slow him down, and take away those body kicks, that would be a huge advantage for a Sun Tao.